My name is Rosemary Beck. I am an RN and I work out of the Maxim Centris Home Care Office from Plymouth, Massachusetts. Rosie! I have wanted to be a nurse since I was about four years old and I never changed my mind. It was just the one and only thing for me. I ended up ultimately deciding that I loved obstetrics. I worked in the newborn nursery for quite a few years. I used to teach the maternal child health nurses what to look for with premature babies versus for newborns. Beginning of 2011, my husband was um, diagnosed with a terminal illness. And so I quit working at the hospital and I was working for Centris, doing home care part-time while I cared for him until he passed away in February. And um, so it uh, enabled me to continue to work with premature babies with m moms, because I can do um, maternal child health visits. So then they offered me and said, well, what do you think about doing private duty? Elise was one of my skilled nursing visit babies, and she then became eligible for private duty nursing. We absolutely love Rosie. She started coming here right when Elise came home from the NICU at 27 days old. And when we found out that uh, we could actually have a nurse in the home with us for a longer period of time, I had talked to Rosie about it and I said, can you recommend anybody in your office, you know, a nurse that you think would be good for Elise? And she was like looking at me laughing like, yeah. And I was like, oh, okay, who? And she's like, me. I couldn't believe it. I was so happy that she was going to be able to do it because we just, we love her. I was not surprised that Rosie was, uh, that she won Caregiver of the Year because she's, she's great at what she does. It just really makes you feel really good that not only do my patients, I hope, um, appreciate what I do, but that I'm appreciated on a higher level. Rosie uh, is someone that if I were the president or the owner of this company, I don't want a million like her. Rosie gives so much in the home when she's with our patients. When she goes home on her own time, without thanks, without being paid, she's a philanthropist. I run a bereavement group. It's called Forever in Our Hearts, which is a group for parents and families who have lost a child either through miscarriage, stillbirth, or within the first year of life. It is just parents who come together who have a safe place to actually talk about their children and they can actually speak their child's name out loud. I can't think of anyone who needs more support than a family who has lost a child. And again, she advocates for everyone around her, finds resources for, for, for our patients in the community, finds resources for us in the office, and it's just endless with her. I hope that one day, if I'm ever in the situation where I need nurses, that I have a Rosie to to be there for me.